Jason here, Clark Creek Farm. How are we doing today? I get asked all the time, how do we trim hoofs? So today I'm going to bring you another video on trimming hoofs. I'm going to use the ALS hoof trimmers. You can pick them up on Amazon. I will leave a link to our Amazon page down in the description so you guys can go buy your own. I like the red handles. Some people like the white handles. They're a little bit longer on the, on the clipper part. So I know this doe hasn't been trimmed in quite a little bit. Um, we ended up getting her from my dad. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I like to look at this when I go to trim a, a goat if she has long hooves. You want to take and make sure this is even across here. So you want, if you start at an inch in the back, you want to end up in an inch in the front. Sometimes you can take a, a Sharpie marker and say, okay, I want it right there across there like that to make it so you know where you want to start off and go from there. Um, you can shorten it up a little bit by going in there and sh just taking and trimming off some more. So let's get started with this. And you want them even on both sides. So when you all said and done with, you want it to go even from the top to the bottom, front to back. I really don't like a super long hoof. And I'm talking about when I say super long hoof, I'm talking from the top to the bottom. Because if you let them grow out and keep on growing out, you'll end up with two, three inches of hoof there and it ends up making their pasturings go uh, go bad quicker. So I like to keep them short. I like to have them about an inch from the top to the bottom. These ones will probably end up being about inch and a half to two inches. So let's get it trimmed up. So now we got this line right here of where we want to be and we'll come in here and we'll start taking off this excess stuff here first. But we want to use that line that we made across there to, as a visual to know where we want to stop. See, we got her down to there. And most likely, if we look at this, you can actually go shorter than that if you want. With it being so wet around here in Michigan right now, I don't want to go where I'm getting them down to the pink because when you do, you end up opening yourself. If you go too far and you take and nick them, you open yourself up to bacteria and stuff getting into their foot, and then you'll have them being lame. So, like I said, we got this even from top to bottom, right there where we left our line. She's good and flat across there. Now we'll go in here to this other side, and we'll take that other side off just as well. And now we're front to back. We are pretty flat across front to back and side to side. I'm going to bring you over here and show you what the hoof looks like after I trimmed it. So as you can tell, I have that flat across there. And it is flat both sides and top to bottom. And you got that inch to inch and a half. These ones are closer to probably inch and a half to two inches from top to bottom. That's what you're looking for. Like I said before, you could take that white, that whiteness there, and uh, make it go down till it turns to pink. But with it being wet and coming into winter, she looks good there, and that's where I'll leave her. And you'll see here how she stands on a nice firm foot on front to back, side to side, and you don't have no nothing there that makes it look different. Now let's do that other side. As you can tell, this foot here looks a little bit worse than that other foot. And she has a slight flare on that foot where it spreads her toe out. It means she's super long. So we'll definitely try to get that fixed and we'll do the same thing to this foot. So see this foot here? Let's do that same trick with the marker on this foot. We want to even it up front to back. So. We're going to go just like that. We're even from the top to the bottom, both ways, bottom to top. 
then we'll take that all off and we'll do the same thing to the other foot and it'll end up flattening it out. See how much easier that is having that marker line there showing you how much you should take off. That way you won't take off too much and see how quick that was to follow that line across there. I don't know how good you could see that line but it was right there and then we'll do the same thing to this other side. I think that marker trick is a good way to get started without taking out too much because the biggest thing I get a lot of people ask me how much heel do you take off most of the time you don't want to take off heel a lot of time you want to take off toe and by looking at it from the top to the bottom it tells you it gives you a good estimate on how much you need to take off and where if this heel was way up here say up sticking up an inch higher than the toe then that means you'd want to take off some uh, heel but the way that most goats are most of the time you want to take off toe because that's where it grows out so now we'll show you how she looks up front and look how much that toe comes in from uh, by taking that off even across that front to back let's do the back feet back feet are the same concept you want to do the same thing on them so you're um, here on the side and you do the same thing with the marker trick and we want to take all that off across there and we'll want to do that both on both sides so they're even front to uh, top to bottom on both sides so we'll come in here and get that long stuff off and if you think for some reason maybe that that uh, the pinkness would be quicker than that, you might not want to take off so much. If you took off too much heel in the past, you might want to take off, go up a little bit and take off and cut off from the bottom that way instead of trying to make it all even at once. I knew this hoof wasn't, but right there's the pink, so we didn't take we almost took off too much. So and it's right there at that line. You don't have to go all the way down to that line right at the beginning. Only go down as much as you think you need to get started to see where that pink is. Actually, you can see that I cut her a little bit there. Not a lot, just a tad. I want to get that off and see. And now we are pretty much front to back, top to bottom, even here. So, now we'll set her down and see how she stands. And she's standing well on that foot, so that's a good thing. Right there, it's right there at the line where I put it. And she's top to bottom, front to back, pretty well even. And that makes a good foot. Um, you probably can take off a little bit more to the, to the toe of this one. If you want, needed her to stand up a little bit more in her pastures. But this is a brood doe, so we just want to get her uh, feet trimmed down where they are comfortable to her, and she's not going to be uh, limping around and like that. So there you go. That marker trick works pretty good if you're just getting started. So good way to get started is use the marker and take it so that way you know how much you need to take off. That's something I came up with. I haven't heard that from somebody else. That was something I came up with and just think that it's a good way because I had a few kids ask me, how can I get started trimming my hoofs and knowing that I'm not going to take off too much and I'm not going to take off too much heel or too much toe. Let's get this last hoof wrapped up and I'll do, the, do it again with the marker just so it makes it a little easier for me as well. Um, so I want to take that off right there. I think you can see that marker. So all this will come off and that'll uh, even that up. 
and they don't usually like a, the reach over so um, so we got that down there almost to that mark now I'll do the same thing to the other side And that was quick and easy. She's down good and flat. And as you can see here once again, she is even from top to bottom. And she is ready to go. That was a quick hook trimming job. Hopefully you guys got the concept. If you have any questions, like I said, leave me a message down in the comments. Make sure you guys like our videos. It gets our videos out there to other people. Just to wrap up here, don't be afraid to trim your guts off for one thing. Two, if you want a little trick, use the marker to make sure it's even from top to bottom and it helps out a lot. If you have one of them, one of them hoofs that are super short already, but they need to be trimmed up, make sure you take off toe and toe only. Don't take off heel. Heel is the one of the slowest things to grow on your goat's hoof. So you don't want to take off too much because when you do, it ends up taking you a long time to get that grown back where you can try to fix that hook. But thank you guys for coming along today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and see you on the next one.